is leukemia. Leukemia is a cancer of the blood cells. Leukemia usually begins in the bone marrow, the soft material in the center of most bones where blood cells are formed. The bone marrow makes three types of blood cells and each type has a special function. White blood cells fight infection and disease. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body. Platelets help control bleeding by forming blood clots. In people with leukemia, the bone marrow produces abnormal white blood cells called leukemia cells. At first, leukemia cells function almost normally, but over time, as more leukemia cells are produced, they may crowd out the healthy white blood cells, red blood cells and platelets. This makes it difficult for the blood to carry out its normal functions. Uh, there are broadly chronic leukemias and acute leukemias. They can be, they can present in very, very different ways. It may be an incidental finding when they do, uh, they, when they go for a blood donation or even uh, they do a blood count because you are a diabetic. Mainly those leukemias which get diagnosed that way are chronic leukemias. Acute leukemias generally come with symptoms. The commonest is uh, infection. So you, they get flu-like symptoms or they become um, lethargic and get shortness of breath because of the low hemoglobin. Also, they can start bleeding because of low platelets. So we have three lines of blood cells, th three types of blood cells uh, in the peripheral blood and depending on which one goes down, they get symptoms. But it's a myth calling leukemia as one disease. There are hundreds types of leukemias and several types of lymphomas which need specialized treatment depending on the subtypes you have. What are the causes of leukemia? Uh, most of the time it is not known. There are leukemias associated with genetic predisposition very rarely and also there are some types of leukemias and lymphomas associated with viral infections and also people get leukemias and lymphomas due to other treatment modalities, immunosuppression and also when they get chemotherapy for other cancers. For instance, if you get uh, chemotherapy for breast cancer, there is a tendency or a possibility that you might develop a blood cancer, particularly leukemia, later on in life. So that those are the few causes we know. In addition, like you no know, radiation, uh, if you look at all the uh, these atomic bombs and what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all. People did develop blood cancers, particularly leukemias, uh, later on in life. But that is a very small fraction of what we see as leukemia in the practice. And most of the time, we don't know why they get it. What are the treatment options for leukemia? Treatment options, like you no know, broadly, if you look at treatment options in the world, it again depend on the leukemia type. I try to stress that leukemia is not one disease. Treatment depend on the type and there are some types which doesn't even need treatment and they will have their normal life expectancy and die from something else. So if we try to treat them, we actually do harm by reducing the life expectancy due to side effects of treatment. Some types of leukemias, you have to start treatment before sunset according to all the guidelines uh, because they can die without treatment within few hours so we have it's important to diagnose what subtype they have what type of leukemia and the treatment depend on that so treatment can be broadly classified into watch and wait do no harm chemotherapy which can be tablets or injections and only for some patients bone marrow transplants and also there are there are several types of bone marrow transplant depending on the leukemia and the patient it has to be decided which type of bone marrow transplant they can have how is lanka hospitals equipped to treat leukemia patients lanka hospital is the only place which has a dedicated hematoon oncology or clinical hematology unit a ward where we treat only hematological disorders and is managed by several consultants and also we have dedicated pharmacists a dietitian and trained nurses 
to treat hematological malignancies they have got trained in managing hematological malignancies and also delivering chemotherapy and other supportive care having this comprehensive center in uh, JCI accredited hospital is beneficial for patients as well for the staff who work because they are specialized to treat one disorder.